Like I mentioned in the title of this video, today I will be teaching you guys how to solve algebraic equations by using the substitution method. Our learning target, like I mentioned in the intro, is to solve a system of equations by substituting for a variable and applying it to a word problem. So we're going to go ahead and get started by first learning how to do this and then we can get to a word problem. And so for substitution, substitution is fairly easy but you can only use it in certain situations. So you have to use substitution when you have the value for a variable. A variable. And so if you look at the two equations up on the board, you can see uh, that I have y equals 2x plus 5 and 3x minus 4y equals 10. And so the first one gives us the value for y being the variable. And so now all you have to do is just plug it in for your y down here in the second equation. And so you would have 3x minus 4, 2x plus 5 equals 10. And then you FOIL your 4, and so you have 3x minus 8x, that's 4 times 2 is 8, minus 20, 4 times 5, or negative 4, sorry, equals 10. And so you combine like terms, and so you have these two, which equal negative 5x, you add your 20, and it equals 30, and now you just divide to get x by itself. And x equals negative 6. And now if you want to get y by itself, instead of having this whole thing, you can just use the top equation. And you could do, you can do y equals 2 times negative 6 plus 5. And so this equals negative 12 plus 5. And so then you have, you can do y equals 2, uh, 2, not, you already have your, the value for x, so you do negative 6 plus 5, and this is negative 12, and y equals negative 7. So now you have the values for y and x, and if you want to check your answers just to double check, we could just still use the same equation, and you could do negative 7 for the y equals 2 times negative 6 for x plus 5 and you have negative 12 plus 5 equals negative 7. So let's write. All right so now for the word problem I have one right here I chose um, this one and it is home pride manufactures solid oak racks for displaying baseball equipment and karate belts. They usually sell six times as many baseball racks as kar karate belt racks. The net profit is $3 for each baseball rack and $5 for each um, karate belt racks. If the company wants a total profit of $46,000, how many of each type of racks should they sell? So now we can put a variable for the baseball racks and the karate uh, racks. And so we could do Y equals B for baseball and x equals k for the karate racks. Okay, so now that we labeled y equals b, or stands for b as for baseball, and x equals the karate racks, we can go ahead and keep reading the word problem, and it says they usually sell six, they usually sell six times as many baseball racks as karate racks. The net profit for three is three dollars for each baseball rack and five dollars for each karate belt rack, which means that each baseball rack is three dollars and each karate belt rack is $5. If we keep reading though, it says each comp if the company wants a total profit of 46,000, how many of each type of rack should they sell? So we know that our total, that they want to be able to make a total of 46,000. So now we can do the equation of three times y plus um, five times x equals 46,000. So then we can solve for how many of each we need to get this total. And so now uh, we also know that y equals 6 times x because at the beginning of the problem it says that they usually sell six times as many baseball racks as they do with the karate belt racks. We can now use substitution to solve for each y and x. 
And so now, just like my channel, on the other equation I had before, we can substitute for y, and we can do 3 times 6 x plus 5 x equals 46,000. And so we can FOIL this, and it would be 18x plus 5x equals 46,000. This equals 23x 46,000. We divide by 23 to get x by itself, and your answer is... And so now that you have your answer for, or your value for x, we can solve to get y by itself. And so we plug it in on one of the equations, and we can do the first one because it's a little easier. And so we can do y equals 6 times 2,000. And we find that our answer equals, because we were just so about to FOIL that, multiply that, and y equals 12,000. And so... The question in the word problem is how many of each type of rack should they sell to get a profit of $46,000? And so you would need 12,000 baseballs and 2,000 karate racks.